Hi everybody! Today we are going to make a card with a new stamp set called um, the Gangs All Mirror. It's not for sale, it's actually available in the celebration brochure that started on Friday. So this is a card that is inspired by Verena Voss. She is a German demonstrator, but I thought it was too cute to just pass up. So I made my own version in English and I will do another one in French. So let's get started. I'm going to pull in my Stamparatus. I haven't used this a whole lot and uh, because I'm making videos now, I thought I'd give it a go. So I put all the little meerkats on the same um, board and I'm going to be stamping them with memento ink because I'm using my blend markers. So we can give them a go here. Aren't they cute? I think I want to give this one a little bit more ink. That's the beauty of the Stamparatus. You can just re-stamp exactly where you did before and get a perfect result. So here is my little meerkat. And while I've got the Stamparatus out, I will stamp the inside of my card. So just change the setting here, put my new piece of cardstock, ink up my other stamps that I had already placed on the other board. And here we go. Got that done. So we're done with the Stamparatus. I'll just move this around. And I'm going to be coloring these little guys. So what I did really is I just gave a little bit of sky behind my group. So with a wider tip and with the blends, you really want to go on the side. You don't want to color with the tip because that might bend it and damage it. So. You really want to always color with the side of the stamping blends. There we go. I just love these little guys. And I'll give it a little more depth with a darker color just to kind of highlight my sky here. And now I'm going to color my little guys. I'll do it with the wider so oh we're gonna probably pause this to not have you watch me color for too too long so here's my lighter color and i'll just add a little bit of depth to the color and blend it in. This is the crumb cake dark marker and the crumb cake light. So what I do to highlight is I usually follow the lines that are on the stamp. So you see here, there's a few little lines and that's where I'll put a bit of the darker color, this little tail. And these guys, they have little lines here. So that gives me an indication of where I want to highlight a little darker color. Okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just as long. Let's give them some sand here to stand on. This little guy here. Okay, so we're done with that part. Now, make sure you put the cap on when you close your 
uh, Stampin' Blend so it doesn't dry out. It's alcohol-based, so it could dry really fast. So next part, I'm going to stamp the sentiment here. I've got happy birthday to a stand-up guy in crumb cake. And this is just a leftover piece of cardstock of white, whisper white cardstock that I had. Gonna cut it with my scissors. There you go. No fuss. Then I'm gonna stick this on with a little bit of Tombow glue. A little goes a long way with this Tombow glue. Don't need to put a whole lot. So this is just a quarter inch strip of crumb cake that I had left over from doing uh, another card. So another tip is to cut your strip from behind so that way you always get it even with your layer. And I'm going to use some dimensionals to pop this little guy up. I just grabbed the dimensionals I had and these are the minis. They do the job just fine. So here we go. Now it's just putting the card together, pretty simple. So I'm going to have the dimensions on my website, but just so you know, this is a crumb cake card base. So it's eight and a half by five and a half, scored up four and a quarter. The inside is whisper white, and that is a four by five and a quarter. I used a little piece of uh, pool party and that is five and a half by three and a quarter. And the layer I did the coloring on is whisper white and that's five and a half by three. So here, I'll just color up this little guy here on the inside. Who forgot about him? What a cutie. And the sentiment says from all of us. There you go. Pretty simple. All done. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.